So in this problem, uh, we need to find the equation whose roots are alpha squared, beta squared, and gamma squared, where alpha, beta, gamma are the roots of 3z cubed, take away 7z squared, plus 11z, take away 5 equals 0. So we're going to use the substitution method here, OK? Because um, we've seen something similar using the alpha, beta, gamma method. Um, so the idea then would be that z uh, as a root now needs to have alpha squared. So alpha squared needs to be one of the roots. So then. I could square root both sides and replace z with uh, z to the half, OK? So if I put each, um, if I replace each of the z's here with z to the half, I would get three lots of z to the half cubed, so z to the three halves, take away 7z squared, so z to the half squared, which is 7z, plus 11z to the half, take away 5 equals 0. OK? Now, the problem here is that really what I want to get to is a cubic equation. And the problem is that this is not a cubic equation at the moment. OK? So how am I going to get around this? So effectively, what I'm going to do is I'm going to square everything. But to make this easier for yourself, OK, rather than squaring this side and having to deal with all the, um, all the values that you're going to get, it would probably be easier if you move the 7z and 5 onto the other side first, like so, and then square both sides, OK? So. Um, if I'm squaring both sides now, I'm going to get 3z to the 3 halves squared. So that would be 9z cubed. Then I'm going to get 3z to the 3 halves times 11z to the half twice. So that's 2 times 3 times 11. So that's 66. And then z to the 3 halves times z to the half is z squared. And then I'm going to get 11z to the half squared, which is 121z. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to get 7z, 7z times 7z, so 49z squared. I'm going to get two lots of 7 times 5, which is 70z, and then plus 25. So if I move everything back onto one side of the equation now, we have 9z cubed plus, so we've got the 66 uh, take away 49. So, what have I done there? Should have just done it in my head. 17z <laughs> squared. And then we've got 121z take away 70z, so that's 51z remaining. And then take away 25 is equal to 0. OK? And so here you have. A cubic now, which should have uh, the roots of the original, but now squared. So we can double check that. So if we go into our cubic solver, uh, 3, minus 7, 11, and minus 5. So we get z equals 0.647. Uh, then we get 0.8431 plus 1.365i, and z equals 0.8431 minus 1.365i. OK, let's pop this one in. 9, 17, 51, and minus 25. So we get z equals 0.4187. Uh, z equals minus 1.153 plus 2.3. Uh, 0 2i and we'll get the conjugate okay right so if I try squaring each of these I get 0 0.1 0 0.418 etc so that's that one and if I make sure I'm in quadratic mode uh, into complex mode um, 
plus 1.365i and square that, I get minus 1.15 plus 2.30, so that's that one. And likewise, yeah, and then that one matches up with that one. Okay, so this is how you can use the substitution method when um, we're looking for alpha squared, beta squared, gamma squared in this case. Uh, the equation you've got to then get back to a cubic is a little bit more fiddly. Um, uh, that's why it's, uh, well, you've got to put in that extra step of squaring in order to deal with the powers. I mean, in general, um, this, going from this to this, might be quite tricky.